Well, today's toy that I went and bought is a cub uh, gardening tractor. You can use it for cutting grass, whatever, but uh, it's pretty much the same thing as a Farmall A or Super A. Same exact thing, basically, just different paint scheme. And uh, it's a good little tractor. Cranks right up and runs. Came with a whole bunch of parts. Got a $157 uh, rim uh, for the rear wheel. Because the one there that's on there is looking a little natty. It's got some bad, bad rust in it. I'm going to pull that off and get another tire go on it. Came with a set of cultivators too, although it's hard to see them down in there all mixed up. And there's a, there's a grading blade right here. You can use it for snow plow or grading gravel or driveway or whatever. And there's a Oliver, an antique Oliver uh, single point hitch plow in that mixed in there. I took this old rickety trailer and drug it all the way up there to Woodford, Virginia. Up there next to Quantico. With the FBI, not too far from the FBI training place. I picked this up. Guy got kicked out of his house and he needed some cash money. And uh, he let this thing go pretty cheap. Got one new tire and one rim. All I got to do is just get a new tire to go in that rim over there. We all set. I just noticed. I just noticed that bolt's not tight, but the other ones are tight. Cultivators go on this arm here, and uh, as far as I know, everything's good to go. And these tires here got some issues. They got some serious cracks in them. I think these tires. I was looking at those before, and I think these tires are fifty-five dollars a piece. So I might get a couple of those and stick on them actually that tire it looks like it's in better shape yeah that's a pretty new tire it's still got the little tits still stuck on it and uh this is one of the last years that the tractors had the uh opening cut in it for the uh, hand crank you can crank these by hand and uh i don't know if there's a hand crank on there or not i don't see it laying on there i got a little Little battery charger came with it. I don't know if it works or not. There's a tape measure right there. Come with it. <laughs> but uh, I don't see the crank handle nowhere. It's probably missing. But uh, got a few little issues. What I'll do is uh, I'll use it this year, and then uh, over the winter, hopefully, I'll have my shed set up and. Uh, I'll strip all the stuff off of it and sandblast it and get it down to bare metal and I'll prime it and repaint it and clean it up and make it look pretty. Old truck did a good job hauling the thing. <clears throat> I was curious that this uh, Suburban could haul that trailer with that load on it. And uh, so out of curiosity, I looked up the weight of my old truck and it was a thousand. 447 pounds lighter than this thing so this thing did pretty good she yanked it down there she got the got the big v8 in there she pulled that trailer down there and i got it loaded and and uh i let the guy put it on the trailer for me and actually let it i should have let him park it a little farther back closer to the wheels but uh even setting it all the way in the front of the trailer and all, it only made the back of the truck squat down just a little bit. I keep calling it trucks, actually suburban SUVs, trucks, you know, it's a truck body, truck frame, I should say. But uh, I think it's a pretty good deal. It, uh, that tractor and all the parts, the uh, the rim, the, uh, the cultivators, the blade, and the uh, uh, plow or worth eleven hundred dollars and I paid a thousand dollars for all of it. And it's in running condition and as far as I can tell the motor and all hasn't been too long since it's been rebuilt. So got new hood on it, new fuel tank on it, new seat cover, one new tire, one new rim already on it, and then one new rim that's looking for a tire. And uh 
pretty much she's good to go I'm gonna take and uh, plow this whole front up once I get it restructured I'm gonna get this driveway moved over here to the edge of the tree line so it'll go down beside the house and around back where I'm going to be parking anyways and uh, about Probably from right here over, I'm going to leave this green grass because i got the well over there and all that. I don't want to disturb any of that, but all this stuff on this side over here, I'm going to turn this into a garden. I'm going to start hauling in some uh, chicken manure from all the hundreds of chicken houses around here. We've got Tyson chicken houses everywhere around here, and they're just begging people to take manure away. And uh, get some topsoil hauled in here if I can find something that doesn't have any red clay in it. And get the yard built up real good and thick and... Put me a garden here, and then I'll have the greenhouses and gardens in the back. So it should be good to go. And I got me a ramp so I can get stuff in and out inside. And I can get in, the, in and out inside without having to fight them steps with my bad hip. And uh, I'm going to put my toys in the house here very shortly. I can't find a shed. Oh, I see what the crows are raising cane about. There's a hawk up here flying around hunting. They're all harassing him. But uh, everything's going along pretty good. If I can just get it to stop raining and dry out long enough, I still got a lot of stuff to do, but the weather's not cooperating. Now that I got a tractor, I can slide that shed out of the way. I've got some more stuff around the back of it I've got to move, and I can slide that out of the way because the driveway's going to go right down through here beside that. I got the propane tanks already moved and set up so I can run the whole house generator that I ordered. I'm waiting on that. I disordered that last week, so that's going to take uh, four to six weeks to get here. And uh, that was the only one I could find with the shortest time frame to get it delivered. So there's such high demand right now. I went to Lowe's and Home Depot, and they said six months. I wouldn't get it till till probably the end of June or into the second week of July. So I said, Nah, I'm not going to do that. I might not even live that long. So. Everything's kind of on schedule. I'm just waiting on the weather to get on my get on my schedule and we'll work it out. Get things looking good here. I've got all this stuff here, all these dead roses and the roses that weren't taken care of. They're just a huge mess. And these boxwood bushes that they just let go wild, and there's no way to tame them back now without killing them halfway to get them cut back and. A lot of stuff here has got to be redone, so I cut back the uh, pom-pom bush so it can start over because they let that go wild without training that. They just planted stuff and walked away from it and can't do that. And uh, the one back there in the back is still sticking up. I started trimming on that and I had to quit because it started raining on me, so I got about half of that done. I've got to take all this dead stuff here and the stuff I cut off and get rid of it and then find out if anybody wants these other plants to try and take them if not i'll just assassinate them and put them in a burn pile and burn them i'm gonna plant azaleas in there because i'm an azalea man i don't have but one here that came with the house so i'm gonna buy some more there's a bunch of potted plants down there and i don't know if they survived the winter or not they were inside the house i think and they just set them outside so i don't have any room for them in there so We'll get that straight once I get my shed. That's my next project. Actually, that's my that's my last acquisition that I need is uh is to get the shed and get it hauled in here. But I got to get the grading done and get the dirt moved. And that tractor right there is going to help me do it. They'll bring the gravel in here I need for the driveway and bring dirt in. I can use the blade on the tractor to spread that out and get that graded. So that'll keep me from having to spend money and pay somebody to do it for me. So I thought I'd call, uh, call. <laughs> I thought I'd just make a little short video and keep up to speed what's going on in my little project house. So I hope y'all have the rest of the weekend. Uh, it's a good one for you. This is the first day and the first day so far, this part of the week is hadn't been raining. It's still soft and it's pretty cold out here. It's 39 or 35, something like that. I think it's 35. So uh, I'll get that trailer unloaded and get that tractor off of there. I'm right tired right now. That drive up there and back was tedious. 40, 45 miles an hour all the way back. And 
making a lot of people mad, but I had to be safe and didn't want to cause any accidents. And I got my best buddy in there is waiting for me to come in. So I got to go in there and get ready to make him some supper. Talk to y'all later. Have a good one. Bye.